disassociate yourself with your ancestral heritage, be you Japanese, Chinese, Indian, African, you are lost for your ancestral, your cultural heritage. Um, because if you're asleep to that, you are asleep spiritually. And if you're asleep spiritually, you can be oppressed and manipulated. Juju, voodoo, evil, apparently. If you want to say Obia and Juju and Ifa and everything else, African is evil. It is simply a tool that we have given. It is a God-given tool. It is a tool that exists in the universe. Use it for good, use it for bad. Um, I was always taught that you use it for good. The first Christian um, worshipped Jesus at the end of a whip. He didn't choose to worship that. How would you choose the religion of your oppressor? It makes no sense. But I would argue and say that no, Christianity is actually, it predates your traditional beliefs because it was, the spirit was there before everything happened. The tradition, the culture, is to do with the universe and our place in it. Religion doesn't deal with that. Religion deals with one person, they have personalised God. You know, the other reason why African religions are so, um, are so maligned and bedeviled is because if you've, you know, religion covers the, your, your total being. So if you follow your religion, it means that you're servicing your total self. She didn't believe in doctors or anything. She was her own doctor. She was guided by nature. She, if you were ill, she knew what bush, mm -hmm. what, you know, mm -hmm. what to do, what prayers, mm -hmm. what to, you know, she, that's her way. Mm -hmm. But to everybody else that is, she's an obvious woman. African belief systems have not been given the same mainstream attention or concentrated research. That is why we don't understand them and which is why it's deemed negative. It's just lack of understanding.